Hello and welcome to the DocuWare for Invoice Processing Features video series. My name is Bob Mutarelli. I'm a solution architect here at DocuWare and today we're going to talk about storing invoices. There are many different ways we can bring documents into DocuWare. Uh, they can be imported using the import button or scanned from a desktop scanner or multifunction device. They can be brought in automatically from a monitored folder on the Windows file system. Um, they can be dragged and dropped from a desktop or Windows folder directly into the document tray. There are also many different integrated options like uh, DocuWare's integration with Outlook or other email processes. Regardless of how the documents were introduced to DocuWare, they now reside in the document tray where intelligent indexing has already processed them and determined that it recognizes what they are uh, by the green indicators and we see that it has already extracted uh, potential indexing information uh, from different areas on the document. Now, these documents were already trained in intelligent indexing. That's why they came into the system already green and ready to process. And we'll see in a couple of minutes exactly how we uh, do train a document when I bring a new document into the system. And to bring in this new document, I'll use the import button to bring it in from a file on my file share. and intelligent indexing will immediately begin to process this to determine if it recognizes the document. In this case, it did not. That's why the indicator shows red. Since intelligent indexing has already processed these three documents, we'll go ahead and store them to get them out of the tray. As I mentioned earlier, these have already been processed by intelligent indexing. So we can go ahead and just click on store to introduce them to electronic file cabinet. I'll go ahead and store all three of these. And once they're stored as part of the electronic file cabinet, they are now eligible to be processed by backend workflows. And we see the tasks are beginning to come up uh, for each of these uh, documents as they begin to process in the workflows but we'll cover the backend workflows in another video. Let's focus now on training this new document utilizing one-click indexing. There are already several fields that it read from the document and interpreted what they were. Uh, specifically, it recognized the word invoice and knows that then this is an invoice. So all I need to do is teach it by using something called one-click indexing where these specific values are, where these index values are on the document. Company number needs to be provided once the company master record has been created. So uh, there's nothing I can select from the document to populate that. But we see that invoice number, and every time I put my cursor in a field, a yellow box appears around the value that it found on the document. And it knows this is an invoice number based on the invoice number text. Uh, the same thing with invoice date and due date. But it didn't recognize the purchase order number, so I'm going to go ahead and use one-click indexing to identify the purchase order. There are other values like the subtotal, the tax, and the freight, and it already picked up on the total amount. So this document is now ready to store in the system and become an electronic archive within the file cabinet. So that's how easy it is to store a document in DocuWare using the pre-configured solution for invoice processing. Look for our other videos in this series. As always, for more information, feel free to check us out at www.docuware.com slash invoice dash processing. Thank you for watching.